So let me get this right. First, you talked me into reading a book and now you want me to do a craft? You want to do a craft? Let me guess. And since you look like a certain PBS TV star that does painting, you want me to do a painting craft? Yes? No. Yes. Oh, you've lost your, your funky hair. Maybe, maybe I could wear the wig. Should I wear the wig? How's that? Yay! No! No? Okay, well, I'll, I'll let you wear the funny. Ha, 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 you're funny. All right, so you think that we should do painting, the joy of painting with Caesar, yes? Okay, so I see you've brought your paintbrush and your palette tray, but your paintbrush is a little big, and your palette tray doesn't have real paint on it. I know, I'm sorry, tragic, isn't it? But you know what, and you've lost your hair, which is probably good because you know what, we don't want to get paint in it anyways. So how about you hang on to this paintbrush and we can give you a paper plate to hold your paint in. And I thought we could do this fun bear themed craft. It's like shadow painting. And of course, it's a picture of a bear because you know, it's like you. So I thought to do this, this is really simple to make. Um, I simply downloaded a template picture of a bear off the internet. Or you could come down to our library where we have these in ready to go bags for people to pick up to do this craft at home. And what you need to do is take this template and you're gonna cut it out and put it on a piece of white paper and then you're gonna sponge paint all the way around it. And that's what creates the shadow effect. Sound easy? Yeah, okay. So should we do it in red paint or should we do it in green paint? Green paint, all right, green paint to this. So we're gonna shake the bottle good and we're gonna squirt some of this onto our homemade paper plate palette. Sorry. And then the first thing we're gonna do is we need to cut out our bear. And it's really simple to do. You just want to get your scissors and cut along the lines, just like so. And you want to cut him completely out. And lucky for us, I've already got one done. Ha ha ha, see how simple that was? So once you get him cut out, you have an option. Um, you can either use the paper template that we have to paint over, or you can um, trace it onto a sturdier piece of construction paper and cut it out of that. And that's what we did here. Um, we put it on black construction paper um, to make him a little bit sturdier, especially since in order to make our frame, we had, we had construction paper left over. Anyways, here's our frame. And the frame is really simple to make. You just need a sheet of black construction paper, just like this. And you want to measure all the way around about three quarters of an inch. And if you happen to have one of these handy and the little slicer contraptions, um, about three quarters of an inch is from the blade to the edge of the board. And you just want to set your blade so that it's somewhere in the middle. And then you want to cut to about three quarters of an inch on each edge. You got that? Okay. It, when in doubt, don't go too far, and then you can always measure that back up. And when you get that all cut out, what you'll end up with is a hollow rectangle with no cuts on the side. And you'll have a big piece of black rectangular paper. Am I going too fast for you? Okay, so now you have this black rectangular square here and the hollow square, and then you have this sheet. And this is a sheet then that we put our bare template on and we traced it with our pencil, and we traced it all out, and then we cut them out one more time, which gave us this nice, sturdy, bare shape. And from that, we can put that on our white piece of paper, and that's going to be our, our template. And to put him on there, so that he doesn't move while you're painting, because that could be disastrous, you do want to put a little piece of tape on top of, or underneath the bear, and then just gently press him onto the white paper. So he kind of looks like a shadow silhouette. Almost looks like you, doesn't he, Caesar? Then, this is the really fun part and messy part, you need to get some cotton balls or a sponge or some kind of thing that you can use. You can even use a paintbrush, Caesar, if you want. And you just want to dip it in the paint and you want to go all the way around the edges of your bear. And yes, that means you're gonna get the template covered in paint too, but that's okay. And you wanna keep going all the way around, getting the edges. 
and then filling in the blank spots. Again, if you don't have um, a, a craft table or a place place that you don't mind getting messy with craft stuff, make sure you put paper down, newsprint, or some kind of protective surface to protect the tabletop so you don't ruin it. My table has been through years of abuse, so it's kind of used to it, and it cleans up pretty good. But not everybody's table does. And you're just going to just keep sponging away here, making the white paper covered and paint splotches. Pretty simple, huh, Caesar? That's not hard to do at all. And it's kind of fun. And I'd get your nose, but I don't think you're up for a swim in the washing machine, are you? Yeah, I didn't think so. I think you like baths about as well as my dog does. All right. So we're just going to keep sponging here. Now, if you want to use two different kinds of paint, you can. I've seen pictures where some people made like... Um, green on the bottom and then blue and orange and pink and red like the bear was walking around the sunset. And that was really kind of pretty to watch. Uh, I've seen them where they've done it with rainbow um, stripes in the background. For that case, you're gonna need lots of different colors and lots of different cotton balls to keep um, um, putting around your bear for shadows. You can make it any way you like. You don't have to do the entire sheet of paper. You can leave some contrasting white areas um, like what we did here and as you can see I did make a mess of my table so that's why you want to be careful and when it's all done let it dry and then when it's all dry you just want to carefully peel your bear off of the paper and there he is nice little shadow right yeah you're pretty impressed aren't you Caesar and then very carefully take the tape off and there you have a bear in the center when the paint is completely dry, then you want to run a thin bead of glue all around the inside of your frame, just like this. And like so, and like so. Got that, Caesar? Don't make it too heavy, because as you can see from our sample that we've already done, the paper tends to curl and you're going to have to keep laying it flat in order to get it to not curl out. So then again, like I said, you want to do this when this is all dry. Um, we're going to do it now when it's wet, so this might be a little bit messier, but you want to wait till it's all dry and then line up your white paper squarely on top of the black frame that you've created and tap it down, press it down and then flip it over and voila. You have a framed bear. Isn't he cute? Yeah, he's adorable. And you can go ahead and hang this up in your cave to impress all your bear friends. And of course, Larry. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that craft today. It was a really fun, simple craft to do. And we look forward to seeing you guys again. Thanks for the idea, Caesar. Bye.